Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to Velocity Micro Tech Lab. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove memory and how to reinstall it. First, we want to make sure the computer is turned completely off. Then we want to disconnect all the power cords and peripheral cords, starting with your power, keyboard, mouse, monitor, printers, and any other peripherals. <clears throat> Next, we want to remove the side panel. By removing the two screws at the back, slide the side panel off and lift it up and put that off to the side. Now after we remove the side panel, we want to make sure that we don't discharge any static into the case. An ESD strap such as this or uh, touching any piece of grounded metal should do the trick so that you don't discharge static into the case. <clears throat> now, now we want to locate the memory on the motherboard. On most motherboards, it's to the right of the processor and there's four, four slots and each slot has two retaining clips, one on the top, one on the bottom. And what we want to do is open up the clip on the bottom, then open the clip on the top, and pull the memory straight out. Do the same thing for the other stick, and lay it off to the side. <clears throat> now to put the memory back in, it's basically a reverse of the same process. <clears throat> we line the memory up to the slot, we're going to push it in to where here. Click on the top, I click on the bottom. Same thing for the other stick. Next, we want to plug everything back in, starting with our power, keyboard, and mouse, monitor, and any other peripheral that you had. <clears throat> At this point, if everything boots up, you should be fine. We're going to get into Windows. We're going to check the amount, check to make sure that the memory is installed in Windows. Click on the start button, right click on the computer, go to properties, and that will show us the amount of memory that is installed in the system. For a more accurate display on 32-bit systems, if you're installing 4 gigs of memory, we can check the BIOS for that. But in Windows 32-bit Vista, you're only going to see 2.5 gigs of memory or thereabouts. Next, replace your side panel. Make sure that both screws are tight on here. After that, you're done. Thank you for joining us here at Velocity Micro Tech Lab. For more information, join us on the web at velocitymicro.com. Thank you.